I'm gonna go hiking in the Bandelier National Forest, New Mexico. It is Veterans Day. And since I've got the day off, I thought, well, let's go do a hike. And I'm gonna do the Bandelier National Forest up there um, by Los Alamos. New Mexico. Current conditions are 35 degrees here, so it's probably closer to 30 up there at altitude. Okay, folks, today's hike is going to be roughly yeah, 16 miles or so. It's going to be a straight out and back from my little parking spot up in Los Alamos to uh, Bandelier National Monument, which is pretty cool place to be actually. The Bandelier National Monument is it's a, a site where back in about 1150, the year 1150, the uh, Puebloan Indians uh, carved out some homes up in the cliffs, so they're cliff dwellings, and by I want to say 1550, they pretty much moved out of there and never returned. So the, uh, the thinking is that the, due to drought, they could no longer sustain themselves and therefore moved on to greener pastures. So here we are, 2021, and we're in a drought. <laughs> and who knows if we'll have to move on from this location because of severe drought. In the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy my hike. Well, about an hour to get there do the hike and then uh, return to wrap up this Veterans Day. So if you're a veteran, I salute your service. And if you're not, find a veteran and say thank you for, uh, for your service to our country. Never hurts to take an extra layer of warmth. Got my puffy jacket. Turn my Okay, get that going. Take a little bit of this. Mmm. Keep my hands from getting all chapped in this cold weather. It's really not that cold out. 36 degrees. It reached a low of 26 coming through the canyon. But 36 now, no appreciable wind, so no wind chill. It's gonna be a good day. Good hike. Got uh, 50 ounces of Gatorade with me. That'll be sufficient for today's hike 16 miles 16 miles should take me about five hours probably four and a half actually okay let's get this party started i got my favorite hat on 
Put my gloves on and let's do this thing. Hiking sticks. All right. And old guys rule. And today's hike, Bandelier National Monument. Ponderosa, Ponderosa Trail, be hiking. Uh, so we're here, came down this twisty road, parked there, gonna hike Ponderosa down to Frijoles, Frijoles all the way down to, let's see, right there, right in this area. That's our objective. It is uh, about a mile and a half down here another four or five miles down here and then um so i think it's eight total coming back down to uh bandelier national monument and then eight miles back 16 miles total So you can see the, the trail is relatively very well maintained, actually. Uh, I think a lot of people from Los Alamos hiked this trail, uh, even though there was nobody in the parking lot today. And uh, so, yeah, easy trail for the first mile. And then we start dropping down into the Frijoles Canyon where gets a little bit steeper going down a little more narrower and therefore a little bit slower okay so we've hiked down from that ridge up there all the way down this trail um, hairpin turn right there and then coming down i'm going to pan across the canyon here you're going to see some trails on the other side of the uh of the canyon uh, eventually I'm gonna explore that but that's not where we're going today we're actually going down the uh, the canyon here you can see the Frijoles River heading down there and that's pretty much what we're gonna follow all the way down so once we get down to the little river and it's a small little stream uh, I'll take another clip So we zigzagged down that hill, that uh, canyon, along this trail, and we come to this junction. And we, if we continue straight, we'll go to the visitor center, which is the way we're going. But I'm curious about that one. That's the trailhead, or this is the trail that zigzags up the other side of the canyon that we saw before. So I'm gonna have to explore this in a later date. But until then, we will continue down our path. I'm no geologist, but this little river sometimes gets to be flowing a little bit bigger than uh, what it is now. And you can see the evidence of that right over here where it's just carved its way through this canyon and that carving has continued for years years centuries and eons to carve this canyon it appears as though fall has fallen as you can see all these leaves have been down on the ground for quite some time a couple of weeks at least but still it's kind of fun to to see this kind of stuff so it's one-way traffic going up or down you gotta wait for people to make their way through 
in order for you to go through. Last bit of climbing here. about as cool as you can get right there. I know. Uh, okay, so what you see out front is like a courthouse of some sort with maybe a bunch of storage um, areas and then up top there's a cliff dwelling some sort of adobe cliff dwelling so we're going to get over there using these stairs here tell you this is such a beautiful beautiful place on a beautiful beautiful day and I'm really enjoying myself but I gotta tell you I hope they get burgers at the visitor center because I'm hungry okay here's that structure I was telling you about Here's another little room, and you see the, the structure of the roof beams. You can see each one of these individual openings probably goes back into a bigger chamber. I'm guessing. But look how, how uh, consistent these openings are. Most of them square. This one's kind of, kind of blocked off with some stones. Hey folks, how you doing? Hi. And then you see all these different, almost like post holes that uh, probably supported a roof structure all along this 
this uh, rock face. over there perhaps the same thing so we got some information panels here and I'm not going to stop and read each one but I will say something about each one I do love to be in the wilderness I do love history and studying the past I find it interesting the different cultures that are around New Mexico and finally the Civilian Conservation Corps, which apparently had a, uh, a, a part in developing this, uh, this area. My dad was a part of the CCCs back in the day, so I find that very, very historically intriguing to me. Ooh, there's the cafe. Man, I'm starving. I'm gonna eat me a big old cheeseburger. So I'm hiking up this, uh, up the access road, still paralleling the Frijoles Canyon. And lo and behold, look what I see down there. I see where the Frijoles River dumps into the Rio Grande. One of these days, I will see you and I will conquer you. But until then, let's keep on. Okay, so it's all coming together now. The Via Calderas, which I've been past countless times, erupted uh, a long, long time ago. 600 times bigger than the Mount St. Helens fire. Explodes a bunch of this tuff, T-U-F-F, which was volcanic ash all over the place, including down here in the Frijoles Canyon, which caused, um, or which enabled the uh, Pueblo Indians to uh, form bricks out of that tuff and build the homes that we saw earlier today. And it also make, made it a lot easier to carve into the, um, into the, the rock wall for their homes. Very interesting.